Hey. Hey. What's wrong? You look like you need to vent. Rough morning with Dad and Faith. Oh, okay. Well, uh, vent away. Just quietly, please. Ooh, after effects from last night's party. <sighs> you have no idea. Hey, glad you got my message. Come on in. So, uh, why'd you move out of the trailer? Well, that way Victor will keep thinking that I left town. But this way you get to keep my Uncle Cordelia. She's doing well. Yes, she is, for which I am eternally grateful. Should I be asking about this? <laughs> um, I had to dress up like Santa on Halloween so I can sneak in and see my daughter, which is why I called you. I suppose all you need now is an elf, huh? Uh, <laughs> yeah, actually, I do. One that can help me clear my name. Please tell me I did not make a fool out of myself at the party. No, no, sis, you were, uh... Thank you. ...an effusive host. Ugh. Effusive. Effusive tipsy or effusive sloppy? Oh, you didn't do anything to embarrass yourself. <sighs> Phew. And it was the karaoke, which was really awesome. Oh, why didn't I stop <laughs> after drink number seven? Did you seriously have that many? At least. Wow. Yeah. I guess I should have actually made sure you got into the house instead of just leaving you on the doorstep, huh? Well, don't feel bad, because Santa helped me in. Oh, good. Wait, what? Yeah, exactly. That's how trashed I was. Santa Claus paid me a little visit. Man, you hallucinated that Mr. Claus was here. You don't normally drink that much. Yeah, the last time I was that drunk was in Jamaica with Billy. Oh, signing the divorce papers probably set you off. Probably. You regretting it? Well, I wish I had a little, a lot less to drink, but I'm glad that I had a party and had fun and went out. Um. You know, I'm determined to be okay with this divorce. That may take a while. No, no, no wallowing. I needed to take action, so, so I did. Yeah, I got delayed a little bit. No, no, I'll be there soon. What? Hey, um, look, if you just agree to help me, I'll fill you in on the details, and I won't keep you any longer, okay? I kind of want to know why you come to me. Well, I read about that sting you ran on your dad, and I thought that you probably earned a lot of connections in the police department, probably higher up. And you need that much leverage? <sighs> yeah, maybe. What, what, uh, what kind of trouble you in, Billy? <clears throat> Broad strokes? I got railroaded in Myanmar. And, uh, there, there were drugs. And... what else? And there was a girl. <sighs> this, um, this doesn't sound like it's gonna be good. No. And if I can't find a way to clear my name, I'm not gonna be able to see my family or even show my face in this town again, so can you just tell me if you'll help me out, man? You know, I just went through this thing with my dad. You know what I mean? I'm just yeah, getting I, I hear you. I hear you, Kane, but, you know, look. We've both had to sit on a secret that's so big that we made uh, our families feel like we didn't care about them just so we could protect them. And Victor knows about this, and he's holding it over my head like an ax. How does Victor know about this? Yeah, he just, he knows. And if I don't make a move, if I don't, um... Have a pretty good strike, huh? Yeah. I need to cut dad in law off the knees. Sit down. Tell me everything you know from the beginning. I don't know what happened that night, really. I just, I know I didn't do what they're accusing me of doing. I couldn't do that. And 
There's got to be a way to prove it. Sounds like you are well and truly screwed, man. Yeah, you got that right. I feel for you. But you're going to turn me down. Look, my problem with all of this is you're asking a hell of a lot from someone that you could uh, barely even stand up until now. You're absolutely right. So don't do it for me. Do it for my daughter. I do it for Delia. That's not cool. It's not cool. It's not cool. Okay, do it for my mom or any member of my family or anyone who thinks that I walked out on them because I need to see my family again. I need help, so I'm asking you here, please, Kane, will you help me? Every day I try to put my life with Billy and the way that he left farther behind me. How's that working out for you? So why aren't you in court? Yeah, I'm gonna go later. What? You're gonna miss the opportunity to talk to Sharon. You're funny. Did talk to her the other day. Had a pretty blunt conversation with her. Oh yeah? Who blunted? You or her? Definitely more me. But I just told her the truth. I told her I didn't trust her. And uh, I'd probably never look at her the same way I did before she left. No. Oh. Ouch. Do you think I should have kept my mouth shut? No. Nick. Look, I understand how you feel. I do. I'm like Dad. Uh-oh. You know, he has been all over me to stand up for Sharon more and to bring Faith to see her mother more. I mean, you'd think you'd understand how I felt. Have you met Dad? I mean, I've tried to tell him every time Faith sees her mother, she just gets more hurt and more confused. The other day, we're in the coffee house. She saw a woman she thought was Sharon once she realized it wasn't. I mean, the rest of the day, she was devastated. I'm sorry. That's heartbreaking. It kills me, Vic. It's killing me. What the hell is what Dad thinks? I'm trying to protect my daughter. If it makes it tougher on her mother... Does that make me a jerk? No. I think that makes you a good dad. I'm sorry that this is so hard on you. I mean, there's really no end in sight, either. Yeah, I hear the trial isn't going very well. If Avery doesn't have a miracle up her sleeve, Sharon could go to jail for a really long time. What are you doing with the rest of your day? Oh, well, I guess I'm going to make myself presentable and then head to the hospital and visit Delia. Good. Give her a hug for me. I will. And listen, if you need a friendly ear, again, I'm here. Same with me. All right. See ya. Bye. Quick. Hey, no, what's up? What? Oh, yeah, I had to. Okay. Uh, I'll be right there. Okay. All right. I will help you. Thank you. And, uh, this has to stay between us. Listen, this is my secret to tell. If I say this to you, right? I will tell her the truth if she gets suspicious, okay? Try not to arouse any suspicion. <laughs> what do you need me to do? Well, uh, first, i help if, uh, you find this girl. All you have is a name. That's all I got for right now, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I will, uh, I'll see what I can do and I'll get back to you. You helping me out means a lot, Kane. Okay. Love you, Santa. No. <laughs> Love you, 
too. Thank you for taking care of me. Billy? <sighs> And we have already set a date. So what do you think about Christmas? Yeah! Oh, she likes it. You know where we got that idea. Because Santa Claus visited me on Halloween. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey, everybody. Hey, hi. Hey. Hi, Victoria. Victoria! Hey, how are join, you feeling? Join the party. Yeah, mm -hmm. she looks like she's doing good. Yeah, she is doing great. Look at her. So, did I hear something about Santa Claus coming to visit you last night? He came for trick-or-treating. Yeah, yeah, apparently so. You know, sometimes they make their rounds for the special special ones. Wow. Uh, that's kind of bizarre, because I think I actually saw Santa Claus last night, too. In fact, I, I think he kissed me when I got home last night. I mean, you don't really think that that happened, right? <laughs> Uh, no, it's a little fuzzy. Mm, so I thought it was nothing, but if Delia saw Santa Claus... Then... Yeah, I mean, well, I, I saw him too. You, you did? Yeah, I saw him here when I was getting ready to leave. He was, um, he was jolly old. He was very, very old. Oh. Well, well I hope that the smooshing Santa <laughs> that you had <laughs> was not as old. Uh, no, he, he, he wasn't, at least. I don't think I... Huh. Enjoyed yourself at the party last night, did you? You know, when I have a little too much fun at parties, I have pretty funny dreams, too. Right. Well, that's probably all it was, although it does seem kind of like a strange coincidence. Hmm. Yeah. That kind of thing happens all the time. 